now an update to a story we've been tracking for months. A former Fall River firefighter appeared in court today to answer to 15 counts of filing false fire alarms. Investigators say Kyle Kusick made more than a dozen fake 911 calls. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Lima was in court for his arraignment. She joins us now with the new details on the possible motive behind the crimes. Kyle Cusick resigned from the Fall River Fire Department back in January, one month shy of his three-year anniversary with the department. These court documents reveal some of his fellow firefighters thought he made the alleged fake 911 calls to lure them out of their fire stations so he could steal money from their lockers. Dressed up in a Navy suit, 23-year-old Kyle Cusick pleaded not guilty in Fall River District Court Monday morning. Fall River police say Cusick made 15 false 911 calls in the past two and a half years. A police report reveals investigators traced the fake calls to Cusick's cell phone. He allegedly made the first false call in October of 2016 and the most recent one a couple days before Christmas of 2018. According to court documents, a deputy fire chief told police Cusick Cusick has a substance abuse problem. That deputy chief thought Cusick was making the fake 911 calls in order to get firefighters out of the station. He said Cusick would then go inside and steal money out of personal lockers and canteens. The deputy chief said he had no proof it was Cusick stealing the money, but he and other firefighters thought Cusick wanted the cash because he was addicted to pain pills. Fall River Fire Chief John Lynch tells Eyewitness News Cusick passed a drug test when he was hired. He said Cusick is is now getting help for his substance abuse troubles. In a statement, Lynch said, it's unfortunate, but he betrayed the trust of the Fall River Fire Department and the citizens of Fall River. I wish him the best in his future endeavors, and I hope he straightens his life out. The judge ordered Cusick to stay away from all Fall River Fire Department stations and to continue with his substance abuse treatment. Neither Cusick nor his attorney would talk to us on camera. He's due back in court in June for a pretrial hearing. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.